In this video, I want to discuss how SAP Business by Design creates a sales code and how to use it to generate a sales order. Now, we imagine a business scenario. We are a heating equipment producer and there is a potential customer whose name is Silver Star and its purchaser name is Frank. Frank is looking for heating equipment and finally he found us. After discussing with our sales agent, he asked us for a sales quote. Assume we are a sales agent, let me show you how can we do this. So as we log into SAP Business by Design, we find we can find my lunch pad in here. And uh, to find a create a new sales code, we can click there a dashboard and uh, find the new business work center and click there new new sales code. Okay. So uh, here we're here we can enter the customer's name Silver Star. Silver Star also corporations, and here we can see the Frank, uh, the contactor, the name of name of contactor can be automatically generated, and we also can create a new customer and new contract information. But in this case, we are only do the existing one. And we also can double click there to see the details of the contact information like uh, cell phone number and uh, address and uh, email. Okay, close here. And we, so we also can see our responsibility, uh, which employee of in our site is working on this job and which sales units are generated and posting posting date, well date, uh, chance of success, yes, that should be 100% and, in, and the, it, there is the payment term. Uh, now we can see the 20 days nets are automatically generated for this payment term. It is automatic generated based on the customer initial setting on customer's master data. If you want to change the payment term, you also can click there and there's a more, op more option. If, if it is not enough, you also can uh, customize the new payment term, which I will, it will extend it on the future video. Now we can add a selling product in there. So we put the product name. What we sell is a wood burning stove. And there we can see a ATP. So ATP is which means availability to promise check, which helps you to communicate in a transparent manner if a delivery can be promised or not. So this can be a different thing, different colors of signal. If it is green signal, it means it is available to sell. If red, it means no. So in this case, we check availability. So you can see a red signal. So uh, it's not available for now. And we will solve this problem in our next video. And also there we can see a discount and the overall discount. So if we put number in there, it's only discount for this product. But if we put number in there, it will discount the overall uh, price. And also we can click Web O to double check every details. Okay, if no problem, click Submit. And it's already submitted. So we can go into here, sales code. And to check today's code. Now the process is a yellow triangle, which means it's submitted. Now 
now the sales order already generated, so we can send this sales code to our customer Frank. Uh, click here, follow up, and email. So we can use this uh, tool to send to him. Now we close this. So now the customer has reply. We assume he already apply uh, reply to us via email and agree to this sales code. We need to convert this code to a sales order. So how can we create sales order? Uh, by this sales code, we click there and uh, click follow up and sales order. Those information are all based on our sales code and submit it, release this order. Okay. If we click to refresh this page now, like here, we can see that the status in the process of the sales code we just created has been updated. Now I want to discuss how the system provides transparency from an end-to-end process view for your sales agent. So we're going to see the state sales order. We click sales order book center and this order. We go into this sales order. and click with all. And we can see the document flow in there. So you can see the system already record every step of this document, which include which will including the future logistic step and uh, invoicing step, even payment step. Now you understand how the system is seamlessly and helps the user execute the step with full transparency. Hope you so enjoy it. Thank you. Bye bye.